Hello friends, hope you guys having a great day. I'm back with a new tutorial on Ansys Startup and how to create a new material in Ansys Workbench. If you have not seen my first tutorial, then I suggest you to go to the YouTube and search Workal23 and look at my first tutorial on Ansys Basics. So let's get started. In order to start Ansys Workbench, what you need to do is you go to your start menu and click on Workbench 17.2. And it will take some time to open it up. Now as you see this workbench window is opened and on the left hand side you see the toolbox and this is the project schematic page and on the top of it you see the file view tools and units. If you want to change the units of your model from here you can do it by click on the unit and you can choose whatever unit you want to choose I'm gonna go with the metric now if you want to perform any analysis and if you want to bring them to project schematic page this can be done by two ways first is suppose you want to perform a static structural problem then what you need to do is you double click on static structural and this will bring the static structural module to the project schematic page you see the static structural part is popped up here now if you want to delete this you go to this triangle and left click on it and delete Another way to bring the static structure or any other analysis to project schematic page is to drag and drop you click on static structural and drag drop to project schematic page and it will create the standalone system in the schematic page as well. Now if you create a new material in ANSYS workbench then what you need to do is you need to double click on engineering data. Now from here you can see that engineering data is already have been given. This is because of the fact that by default ANSYS Workbench has static structural as a material. Now in order to create a new material double click on engineering data section and it will pop up the engineering data properties. So you see by default the material is structural steel and the properties of the structural steel are shown in the bottom column. Now in order to create a material you click on this column and type the name of the material. I'm typing high speed steel. You can type another name too and hit enter. Now in order to create the properties of this material what you need to do is you go to toolbox and go to linear elastic and double click on isotropic elasticity. Once you click on that, it will pop up the Young's Modulus and Poisson's Ratio. Now for example, I'm giving a random value 2.9 E10 and the Poisson's Ratio is 0.3. If you want to add any other property to the material, so what you need to do is you double click on that property and it will automatically comes to the property section. Now by randomly I'm giving this value 7500 kg per meter cube and once you're done with the engineering data what you need to do is you close this tab and your engineering data section is over. Now when you get into the model part what you need to do is by default there is structural steel. You click on the material and you change that material to high speed steel. I'll be showing you guys this when we solve a particular static structural problem in ANSYS Workbench. I hope you guys like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel Vivek Kumar. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.